Yesterday, we got news that Pacific Northwest LNG had finally been approved by our Canadian government. <laughs> the federal government uh, approved it because they recognize how important it is that we create jobs in, in this country. That a trillion dollars in economic growth over 30 years is going to make a tremendous difference for all Canadians, no matter where, the, where they live. But it is also important, while we create those high-paying, stable, family-supporting jobs, that we do it the right way that we do it in a way that is going to help us all globally protect our climate, our globe, and fight climate change. But as important as the investment is and the jobs are for our country, it is even more important to make sure that we get the project done right. It's a $36 billion investment in Canada, the cleanest LNG produced on the planet, thousands of jobs, real long-term wealth for First Nations communities, and in places like Port Edward, Dancing Dave McDonald is doing a jig right now. And over the last five years, we have created, uh, since we introduced the BC Jobs Plan, 176,000 jobs. We are the strongest economy in Canada. And that is without LNG, haven't even gotten, gotten started yet. In tourism, we are setting records. We've had over 3 million visitors already this year. BC's tech sector is taking off. Vancouver has become a global hub. Kelowna produces over a billion dollars in revenue and growing. Nanaimo is growing. And here in Victoria, it is the largest private sector employer at a $4 billion net revenue business already. That is an amazing story for British Columbia. Four, there are four tech startups valued over a billion dollars in Canada. Three of them are in BC. And why are those three here? They are here because we are competitive, because taxes are low, because the lifestyle is incomparable, and because we believe in investing in people.